Hello, hello, hello. This is not clickbait. This is news. Uh, Elon Musk bought 9.2% of Twitter. Are we, well, are we going here? We're going here. Elon Musk was just reported today, this morning, that there was an SEC filing that Elon Musk has acquired 9.2% stake in Twitter. I believe this may make him the largest shareholder of Twitter. Uh, I'm just, I just started this. I'm looking at the stream to see who's here. Okay, we got 19 viewers right now. So this is really big news, really exciting. Um, I am a big free speech guy, and I'm and Elon and Jack Dorsey, who is another large shareholder of Twitter, is has they've been talking about free speech. Jack Dorsey's been saying, you know, maybe he got something wrong with what they were doing with with Twitter. I'm wearing the Elon Time shirt, by the way. I'm wearing the Elon Time shirt from ElonBits.com. Check out ElonBits.com. Link in the description below uh, if you want to check that out. This is real. This is real. I, I thought, you know, it's not April 1st. Uh, Elon has definitely acquired uh, stock in Twitter, um, and 9.2% and is not trivial. One of the other things, let me see if I can find this on Twitter. Um, ARK Invest owns 2% of, of Twitter. ARK Invest is a significant shareholder. Let me see if I can find that. Hold on one second. Whole, whole Marsbach tweeted it. Where did it go? Come on. Oh, that's what's going on. Okay. Let me see if I can. I'm just going to save this image and share it with you. Download. This image shows the largest shareholders of Twitter. Elon's stake is not shown here, um, but you can see here Jack Dorsey owns 2.25% of Twitter and ARK Invest owns another 2% of Twitter. So Elon does have allies in the ownership of Twitter. Now Vanguard, Morgan's the top shareholders up here, Vanguard, Morgan Stanley, BlackRock, State Street Court, those are institutional investors. I don't know about Aristotle Capital, FMR LLC, that might be Fidelity Investments. But the first four large shareholders are institutional investors. And I, my, my gut hunch is that there's two things going on here. One thing going on here is that Elon and Jack and others have recognized that big tech controlling speech is a threat to democracy. That you don't have true democracy if you don't have free speech. Elon tweeted about it. I don't have his tweets up, but Elon's tweeted about it. Jack's tweeted about it. <clears throat> Elon and Jack are friends. Jack seems to have been, I don't know if Jack voluntarily retired from Twitter or if maybe he was forced out of Twitter. Maybe he got tired of the, the wokeness that was going on in Twitter's, uh, the way Twitter was being run. And so, but I think there's two issues. It, issue number one is they want it to be a free speech platform. Issue number two is if you're going to swing these investors, if you're going to swing the top four investors, the institutional investors, you're going to have to persuade them you have a business plan that's going to make Twitter more money, right? Um, and, and probably the, the wokeness is interfering with making money, that you're driving people off platform, you're creating the risk that some other platform is going to succeed, and Twitter is... A leading, it, it already is probably the most free speech of the platforms, but if Twitter can, if Elon and Jack have an idea for how they can maybe grab more market share in the social media space from, from let's say Facebook, then there may be significant potential for Twitter to grow to, um, and that would be, in other words, they come to the major investors and say, we have a plan. This is how we're going to take Twitter and we're going to become, we're going to grow. We're going to grow the platform. We're going to grow profits. Um, you know, and you can see, by the way, the market reacted, the pre-market trading reacted, Twitter shares jumped about 26%. So my gut hunch is that Elon's not alone in this. Elon is allied with the All In podcast. Those are some very, very strong investors, Chamath and Jason Calacanis, um, David Friedman and Sachs. Um, those four guys, maybe they're all buying stock in Twitter. Maybe they've all done it together. Uh, it, it I have a feeling we're going to get news in the near future that Chamath bought stock and that th they're they're teaming up in some way and they're going to maybe put Jack back in charge or maybe Jack doesn't want to do it but they have somebody else who's going to get back in charge. Um 
also possible, you know, Karpathy tweeted about TikTok's AI being, uh, something about TikTok's AI being like crack, and maybe they have a plan to use artificial intelligence to enhance Twitter, to make Twitter, you know, both a free speech platform, but also more profitable. I, I think the real story here is, is, you know, one, the real story is, wow, Elon's doing this, but another big story here is, can they make Twitter more profitable? In other words, is this a good time to buy Twitter? Because, you know, to some extent, everything Elon touches turns to gold. So there's a really good chance that this is a serious plan for Twitter to grow and make a lot of money. That's, um, yeah, no, Elon's not going to run Twitter. Elon is going to put somebody else in charge of Twitter who's going to, I'm, I'm looking at the chat now. So, oh, thank you, Team JG, for your support. Let's see. Warren, you a gangster. Who who sold the shares he bought? My get my gut hunch would be he just bought them on the open market. It's it's possible he bought Jack's shares. Uh, that seems unlikely, but it's possible because there probably would have been a filing that Jack sold shares, and at the same time that he, that there was a filing that Elon bought shares. Um, Twitter shares are up. I'm looking at the at the the chat. Twitter shares are up. Is it me or is Elon not looking well lately? Elon looks fine. I don't know why people always say that about him. Twitter's, I mean, yeah, I mean, Jack was more interested in what Square was doing, but they're both into crypto. So, oh, oh, we could see Twitter adopting Dogecoin. Um, Jack is a Bitcoin guy. Elon is a, Twi is a Dogecoin guy. Jack is into crypto. Elon's into crypto. You could see some way of incorporating crypto into Twitter to lower transactions costs. Cause right now, anything you do on Twitter, you're probably paying with some kind of credit card or account. And there's probably some fee, especially if you're paying with a credit card, if you're the business side of it, most of us don't see the business side of it. We're get, we get jammed with ads. Very possible. They've come up with a way, um, some ideas of things that they can do. You know, another example is that we were just on the clubhouse app last night. Clubhouse is an app where people can, can talk. You have like rooms of people who are talking. It's a pretty good platform. And Twitter adopted Twitter spaces, which is very similar to clubhouse. And we were talking, well, how do you monetize this? And you could see where you could say, you know, you can join this space for one Dogecoin or one Bitcoin. Um, I don't, I don't think Bitcoin would make sense for this, but you know, Elon owns Bitcoin. Jack owns Bitcoin. Jack has said he's, he's into Bitcoin. I think the, the potential for this to involve crypto is really significant the potential for AI to get involved. Um, Jack may have ideas. Elon may have ideas. Um, Arpathy was talking about this that something is happening with Twitter where they're going to, it can't just be Elon bought it. Now it's going to be a free speech platform. It has to be that Elon and Jack and others have a plan to persuade these four big investors. If you can persuade Vanguard Group, Morgan Stanley, BlackRock, and State Street Corp, that you have a plan for Twitter to double in size or triple in size and make more money, make more revenue. If you can demonstrate that you have that, then you swing the major investors over. You don't have to buy the whole company. And Elon appoints, Elon's not going to run Twitter. He's, I can't, I can't imagine Elon has time to devote, you know, brain cycles to really running Twitter, but spending a few weeks of time talking with other people to say, Hey, here's what we can do to make this work. Uh, this has been built up a while. Maybe they will give the former POTUS his account back. Very likely that Alex Berenson and Donald Trump and uh, a lot of other people who've been banned from Twitter will be back on Twitter. Um, and, and, you know, actually bringing back Trump to Twitter is going to increase traffic on Twitter. Um, and, you know, they need to, but they just, you know, I just had, I actually just reported a tweet where somebody said something about the Jews owning the banks, which is classic hate speech against Jews. And I, I reported that tweet to Twitter because that's a classic uh, anti-Semitic trope. And Twitter, I just got an email from Twitter this morning that, they didn't find a problem with that tweet. You know, hate speech is whatever the people who run Twitter, whatever platform you're on, hate speech is whatever the people who run the platform decide is hate speech. And Twitter's management has gone off the rails. They've gone woke. You know, Disney's gone woke. A lot of major corporate America has gone woke. And this is maybe a pushback against the wokeism. So very, very, yeah, yes, I, I believe Jack, Jack Dorsey left Twitter to concentrate on Square. I believe that is correct. However, Jack Dorsey seems to have remorse from his Twitter, tw 
tweet from his recent tweets, he may have some remorse about letting Twitter go as far as it did off into this woke land. So, yeah, I mean, I look, you don't this idea that Trump tweeted something that that he had to be taken off Twitter. It seems dumb to me. President of the United States is banned from the platform. It's it's crazy that they got they and and I'm not a Trump fan. I hate Trump. I, I've hated Trump for long before he was running for president. I'm an upstate New Yorker. He's a New York City guy. We all in upstate New York we hate loudmouth New York City guys, and he's a loudmouth New York City guy. I just fundamentally dislike Trump. But that doesn't mean he should be off Twitter. You know, it's it's so stu- and I I personally think he was not that effective as a president. But I, you know. No, no, no. So Musk does not have a majority vote. Musk has 9% stake in Twitter. And having a 9% stake means he has a significant interest and he may be able to push for board seats. He may, but if he, if other people are in on a takeover, in other words, if there's other people, like I said, the, you know, Shamath, the, the all in pod, if you, if you follow the all in pod, it's four guys who are big time investors, um, who are friends with Elon. I think they may be friends with Jack. They may be in on this. There may be a bunch of people who just, you know, quietly bought a bunch of stock in Twitter over the last few weeks, and it's now being reported, and all of a sudden, maybe collectively, they have a 25% stake. Because between Elon, ARK Invest, and Jack, that's, it's already close to 15%. Uh, Elon, it's a good time for the Elon water bottle. Elon stainless stainless water bottle is at uh, elonbits.com. Um, I don't want to get into this. I don't want to make this about Trump versus Biden or anything like that. I, I, I just think that this is, you know, I am on Twitter a lot. I now have 28,000 followers on Twitter. Elon just just hit 80 million followers on Twitter. He might have more. He might be the number one uh, person on Twitter in terms of number of followers or or close to it. Um, he's I'm sure he's in the top 10. So this is crazy. Um, and I, 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 I'm curious in the chat, you know, if you're going to chat... What could Twitter do to grow as a business? I think this is, you know, it's about being a free speech platform, definitely. I think being a free speech platform brings all the people who fled to other free speech platforms, they're now free to come back to Twitter. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the Locals platform to talk about politics. I talk about politics somewhat on Twitter, but I talk about it a lot more on my Locals platform. I talk about it more freely. I say things more freely. Um, it's not that he's funding Twitter. It's that he bought a significant stake of Twitter. What's this? Oh, so Aft Online says, why would Elon fund Twitter unless he buys all of it and fires all the woke crew? He won't change anything. No, you don't have to buy all of it. You have to buy enough of a stake to get control. If you have enough of a stake and if you have a business plan, it, it can't just be that he buys 10% of the company or 9% of the company. It has to be that he has a business plan that he can take to the major investors that already already control that effectively control Twitter and say, "Hey, we have a plan for how Twitter can make more money." <clears throat> and you know, Elon doesn't care about making money for himself at this point, but <clears throat> suppose they can 5x Twitter in the next 10 years. Well, you know, then I mean, it, the, the amount of wealth that Elon the amount that Elon's wealth would grow from this would be trivial. <clears throat> but Twitter is one of Elon's primary outlets, so it's so it's understandable for him to invest for control. He doesn't have control yet. The real problem with free speech is bots. The only solution is an AI that distills all opinions from millions of comments, present without numbers. I do think there's potential for machine learning to catch up to the spam bots. I think Twitter is infected with bots. There are bots that uh, create fake profiles to pretend that they're you. I, I, I've had people create fake accounts, you know, that are almost the same username as my name. They put my picture on it. They put my name on it. They copy my profile and they get, you know, hundreds of followers because people don't realize who it is. Um, they, they just mimic your tweets. There's all kinds of spam activity on Twitter that they can also clean up and that will make Twitter a better use, uh, uh, use, user experience. But I, I think the big thing is that they may have an idea for how Twitter can make more money. Uh, you know, it may be that the people who are running Twitter are so woke they forgot about making money. And Jack noticed it. And, you know, nobody knows more about about Twitter than Jack. So when you combine Elon, like I said, Karpathy was talking about TikTok. You know, are they going to adopt some kind of TikTok-like feature? You know, maybe they can mimic something that TikTok is doing. They, 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 you know, Twitter adopted Twitter Spaces, which is an, a, an emulation of Clubhouse. 
and Twitter. I think Twitter Spaces gets more activity than Clubhouse. I still think Clubhouse is a better user interface, but you know that doesn't always matter. Twitter needs bots to keep their tweet volumes and users high. No, no, I don't think so. I think that spam activity makes me want to be on Twitter less. Am I buying stock in Twitter? No, I, I might. I mean, I, I don't have a lot of free cash. I think, I think long run Tesla is a better bet than Twitter. Owning stock in Tesla is a better bet than, I think Tesla is very clearly going to 10 X or 20 X over the next eight to 10 years where Twitter, but I think there's potential for Twitter to two X to five X. I just have, I ha honestly, I haven't done the analysis. You know, what is Twitter's revenue? What is Facebook's revenue in the same space? Um, Philip Burns says, please don't let Trump back on. W why do you post free speech? If you don't want to see what he says, don't follow him. You can ban, you can block him. You can mute him. If other people want to hear what Trump has to say, what's your problem with other people getting to hear what he has to say? Um, the, the idea that the platform bans somebody because they don't like him is a terrible idea for a platform. Um, Elon posted ducks in a police car instead of Twitter. Hell, name it quack. I, like, I don't think they're going to change the name of Twitter. If Twitter can ban a U.S. president, it's not safe. It's just it, there's this concern that a lot of people have that big tech has too much power. And, and you know, Elon says he's a free speech absolutist. You know, they're not going to allow child pornography. They're not going to allow, you know, death threats. But they can make it a lot freer. Where is the line between hate speech and facts and who decides? Well, the thing is, if it's not, I think the answer is that hate speech is a bogus term. Um, if, if, it's, if it's actively, you know, there's, I think if your speech is saying, go kill that guy, well, that's not just hate speech, that's actually promoting violence. And I think not, pro not promoting violence, okay. What happened on January 6th, I know people are going to hate it. That wasn't, what Trump did was not directly promoting violence. And that was, you know, uh, you, you've got to be reasonable about it. This could be a ploy to lure Twitter into false security while he builds his own. No, I don't think so. I don't think he wants to waste time building his own platform. Twitter, or we talked about this. I talked about this with people before that if Elon built his own platform, the challenge would be building critical mass for that platform. And that wouldn't be easy to do. Well, Twitter already has critical mass for the platform. It just solves a huge problem. It's probably cheaper to buy Twitter to effectively buy enough to take control of Twitter than it is to start your own platform. He could get video and compete against YouTube. Very interesting, Costa. Could they find a way to get Twitter to become a video platform competitor to YouTube? I don't even know if YouTube makes money. I mean, YouTube makes revenue, but I don't, I, YouTube is, I, I don't know if YouTube is profitable yet for Google. I always thought there was a question about whether YouTube was even profitable. But, you know, Twitter might be able to, I think competing against TikTok, competing against YouTube, there's a lot of potential for Twitter to grow in certain areas and to be a free speech platform. Oh, Tesla bot says he should be in prison, not given free speech on Twitter. <laughs> there are prisoners who have free speech on Twitter. <laughs> the two things are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> there are lots of people on Twitter. There are significant voices on Twitter who are, are you know, are in prison or are, or going to prison. Short vids like TikTok and Snapchat are all the rage. Twitter could adopt some that totally see the potential twitter already has a short pillia video platform do they have a plan for that um so much potential here i'm just looking to see if the woke crew hate your speech then it's hate speech exactly i would open a bar with the name twitter without internet that's funny uh if tw trump had the money he would have bought twitter long ago he must be furious reading this no i think trump is maybe trump's on board with this you know because i think didn't trump create a platform card called truth social and it and it, it it's not it's not cutting it Trump could be in on this. Who knows? I mean, not, not that they're coordinating directly, but they may have let him know, hey, we want you back on the platform and we're going to get control and then Trump's going to have an audience again. Trump would probably love that. They probably don't need to communicate with him directly about that. But they, you know, Elon's communicated with Trump in the past. 99% of Elon's crypto is Bitcoin. Is that true? I did not know that. Yeah, I do think, I think, I think a few big ideas are one, what can they do to expand the platform in terms of incorporating video, going after TikTok, going after YouTube, um, making it more free speech. So you draw back the people who have fled to other platforms. I mean, I'm going to stay on my locals platform, but maybe, and, and then can you adopt crypto in a way that says, Hey, if you're a creator, YouTube calls us creators. So 
So if you're a creator on this other platform, we're going to create a way for you to to create on Twitter where you get a greater share of the revenue and you can get paid in crypto, right? I, I think a lot of potential for this and that, that getting paid in crypto makes it work across many countries. A lot of really interesting ideas here. Twitter and YouTube are the best Tesla advertising mediums. That's true. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, of, of creators on, or influencers, whatever, on Twitter and YouTube who talk about Tesla a lot and SpaceX as well, don't forget. Anthony Daxis says, Trump has investigated and dissect more than anyone in history. If he belongs in prison, then three quarters of DC belongs there first. I would say that's probably true. Elon doesn't let bully media bully him into hating people. Yeah, this is going to be, this is going to dominate the news today. This is going to be insane uh, in the news cycle. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I don't, but I don't think this is about Trump. I mean, I think there's a small aspect of this that Trump will probably come back to Twitter, assuming they get control of Twitter, assuming they, and again, I want to stress this, this can't be just about free speech because they don't have enough stock in Twitter to actually control it, unless he's buying more. It's possible he's buying more, I, I don't know, but if, if he's... They have to have a plan that they can go to the other major investors and say, we can make you money. Um, and if they don't go along with the plan, and you know, it's, I suppose you need 51% of investors. So it may be that they go to the retail investors with a plan. It may be that they go to a board vote and they win enough board seats. Um, this isn't something that's going to happen overnight either. Unless, unless they sway the major investors right away with, we've got this phenomenal business plan. You're going to five X your money on Twitter. Um, I don't know how much. Let me put this up again. These are the these are the, the the largest owners of Twitter stock. So Vanguard Group, Morgan Stanley, BlackRock, and State Street are inter inter are institutional investors. I think FMR LLC is Fidelity Investments. Um, I don't know Aristotle. I, I know Ark Invest. I I think the the top four are institutional investors, and there is some wokeism affecting infecting those groups. So it may be that the management of those groups, so you may need to make an end run around those groups because that's 16, 22, 26, 27, maybe it's less than 30% of Twitter stock is in those four. So it may be that they have a plan to make an end run around them. It may be that they have a plan to persuade them. I really think it has to be that there's a business plan. I think this is the, 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 the big story in the media is going to be that this is about speech and you know Elon's going to allow hate speech on Twitter. That's going to be the way the media is going to play this. But Elon is a business magnet. I tweeted this on Twitter this morning. He's a business magnet, not M-A-G-N-A-T-E, but M-A-G-N-E-T. But um, there has, they have to have a plan for Twitter to grow. They have to have a plan for Twitter to grow in, in volume. They have to have a plan for Twitter to make more revenue. Um, I definitely think what somebody suggested, incorporating video, they have, there's a business plan here. We, we haven't seen it yet. There's a business plan. They have a plan to double Twitter's volume, to double Twitter's revenue on top. You know, if you, if you could double the volume of traffic on Twitter and you can double the, the revenue per, per user, then you could 4X the company. And if people see that growth, then you could see the, comp, the stock 5X or 10X, um, which would be insane. And then, of course, my video going live later today, uh, maybe tomorrow, I'll push it to tomorrow, Robert Reich and Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders and all the... The, Demo the mainstream Democrats or leftist Democrats who hate Elon are going to hate him even more. I mean, just imagine what's going to come out of Robert Reich and, and Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders on Twitter today. This is going to be spectacular. This is going to be... No, they're not going to scuttle Twitter. They're going to grow Twitter. This is, this is a plan to grow Twitter. And you know ARK Invest is on board. If you, if you didn't catch it, ARK Invest, if he came in late, ARK Invest is a major investor in Twitter. In Twitter and ARK Invest is allied with Elon. Jack Dorsey's allied with Elon. Um, you know, it's possible Elon bought Jack's shares, but probably not because that probably would have been an SEC filing as well that Jack sold. So he's a business magnet. He's a biz magnet. So Twitter is toxic for conservatives. Yeah, that's another thing that, that, that you get these bot attacks that like, you know, even like forget about Republican, Democrat, whatever. You got somebody like Sawyer Merritt. Sawyer Merritt is a Twitter uh, influencer who is a big fan of Tesla. And I'm, I haven't met him in person yet. I'll probably meet him at, in Austin. But uh, Sawyer gets bullied on Twitter. I, like people, you, 
there are people, and what happened, uh, Chicken Genius just left YouTube because of, you know, to some extent, bullying. Um, you don't necessarily have to shut somebody down if, if you create your, if you identify a voice that is bullyable. Like, I'm not bullyable. I don't care what people say about me. I've, I've gotten, I've, when you get yelled at by an angry judge and angry prosecutors and stuff like that, I've confronted that in the courtroom before. So the, the, the bullying on Twitter is hilarious to me, but there are people who are actually sensitive to it and they may be able to reduce the bullying. The bot bullying. I'm not talking about the, you know the the mob bullying. They may be able to deal with do something about that as well. Yes, I was saying that phony. That we're, I think we're going to see some kind of incorporation of cryptocurrency in the Twitter business model, um, uh, and they're going to open source. One of the things they've talked about, they're going to open source, or they're going to they're going to make it so that people can can see what the algorithm is. I think there's a question. I think one possibility is that you allow people to choose their algorithm. In other words, you're 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 on Twitter and the feed shows you what the algorithm wants you to see. Same thing with YouTube. You're on YouTube, you're on your homepage, the algorithm for YouTube decides what videos are gonna be prominent, what you're more likely to see, what, based on largely what you wanna watch, but also what they might not want you to watch. Um, and I think it might be interesting that they might have options so you can choose your algorithm. Here's an algorithm that's pro-Democrat. Here's an algorithm that's pro-Republican. Here's an algorithm that's libertarian. I think one option is to let you choose your algorithm. Although I think Jack tweeted something that he didn't like that idea. Um, he doesn't want users to control the algorithm, but he wants people to know what the algorithm is. I, th I think that's something going on here. Um, Twitter's already got the user base from the top. You might just drive the direction of algorithms and set new rules. Yeah, Twit Talk would be an appropriate name. Peter Thiel is probably also in on this. Very interesting, Morton. That's very, very interesting. Alexandra says ARK Invest sold all Twitter a couple of weeks ago. Maybe Elon bought ARK Invest's Twitter. Alex, thank you. Ale I'm really glad Alexandra's in the chat. Alexandra follows ARK Invest's, um, and it probably would have been interesting. Yeah. So I think this is the biggest thing I can say about today is the mainstream media will cast this as Elon is trying to control speech. She's trying to control public discourse. So, and I, I think he's trying to preserve free speech. And there's no question he wants to preserve spe free speech. But the real story that's, that's behind this, that people aren't going to see, that the media isn't going to report, they have to have a business plan. Elon, Jack, whoever, they have a plan for how they are going to make Twitter profitable. Boy, if Ark Invest sold Twitter a couple weeks ago, that is a bad sign for... This was an opportunity that they missed, unless they sold to Elon. If Elon has a protege, then now would be a good time to promote him or her to the Twitter board. Very likely that between Jack and Elon, they have someone they want to run Twitter, because I don't think Jack wants to run Twitter anymore. So it's very likely they have someone in mind who they're going to put in charge of Twitter. And it won't, it won't necessarily happen overnight, by the way, because they don't have 51% of the stock. They may have to push for... You know, one theory is they're going to get a bunch of people together to buy a lot of stock in Twitter so they can effectively take it over and point who they want to the board. But the other theory is that they have a business plan that will persuade the major investors, hey, we have a plan going forward. We've got this guy who's going to run it. And this is what we're going to do to, to 5x Twitter in the next three years. And, and you know, your, your investments are going to go up dramatically. I think that is the plan. N nice to see you. Be nice. Um... Were there available shares for Elon to pick up or did someone have to sell them first? My, he probably bought them on the open market. It, you know, Alexandra mentioned that, that ARK Invest sold their stock in Twitter. So it's always possible that Elon bought them directly from ARK Invest, but some bought their shares. They only had 2%. Most likely it was just open market trades. Um, and, you know, it, he got to a point where he acquired enough that he had to disclose it to the SEC. Very, very interesting. And th this might not be the end of his share. This might not be the end of his buying. He may have bought more. I don't know how the SEC rules work. It may be that he bought more in the last couple of days and those additional. Because when Elon sells his stock, it was like spooled out over weeks in the, in the, in the SEC filings for, for Tesla. So Dorsey should be charged with treason for censoring the laptop from Hunter. I don't think Dorsey was involved in that that final that level of decision making. How many shares is fifty one percent control? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I haven't done a count. I mean, we can pull up that number. Um. Let's see. Vanguard has seventy percent with 
8.79. So if you multiply that by five, six, if you multiply that by six, you'd be close to majority stake. So 420 million shares. Six times seven is 420 million, I think. Given the timing of Jack Dorsey's comments, I'm, I'm sure that Elon and Jack are talking. There's no, it has to be that Elon and Jack are talking. And, and, and there's other people in on it. It's not just the two of them. Our, they, they've got a plan. They're, they've seen the growth of TikTok. They can, they can adopt a TikTok-like feature that draws people in. Um, that keep, you know, it, there, there's two goals. One, get more people on the platform. Two, get them to spend more time on the platform. So, it, and then make more money from their time on the platform. So if you incorporate, it may be that TikTok is a great advertising model and they can crush TikTok. Uh, that that would be astonishing because, like I said, Andre Karpathy was tweeting about TikTok. He was playing around with TikTok, found it was like crack. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's definitely possible that we're going to see Elon pick up, you know, additional. You know, it's very. I would just say it's fairly likely that this is not the the last round of Elon buying Twitter stock. If he got up, I think if he got up to twenty percent, that might be enough to where he would be. I don't remember exactly how it works. You know, if the, if the rest of the shareholders align against him, then it doesn't work. But Tesla AI Entertainment times Twitter. Could Tesla collaborate with Twitter? I don't see that. I mean, you know, Twitter on the screen of a Tesla, sure, but that's a small thing. Um, Twitter, Twitter is effectively already a huge promotional platform for Tesla, so I don't know that it adds anything to that. Taking Twitter private at 420 million, funding secured. Very nice, Julia. I was always curious about how Elon, Jack, and Kathy and the, and the mod seemed cozy on the ARK Invest streams. Interesting. I don't think Elon is doing this for any... No, he, it, it's not that... Elon's doing it for the reason of free speech, but there has to be a business plan behind it as well. There has to be a plan. They, you know, there's something going on here. There's something going on here that this is going to be bigger than that. And, and you know, crypto is going to be involved and... Some kind of TikTok, like increasing the feature set of, of Twitter to add something like TikTok, incorporating AI and the algorithms, making the algorithm. I think if they made the algorithms, algorithm public, if they, I think if they gave you a choice of algorithm, in other words, you're looking at Twitter and Twitter's algorithm decides what tweets you're going to see. If they made it where you could choose, if they said, here's 10 algorithms, you can pick whichever algorithm you want. And people could submit algorithms. If they open source the algorithms, say, here, create your own algorithm. Here's the tools. Um, you know, people might be able to say, hey, I've created an algorithm to change your Twitter feed and, you know, sign up to my algorithm and decide whether you like my, my algorithm better. And then Twitter can monitor the algorithms to see which algorithms perform better. You could, you know, there's a lot of potential here. Training bot on Twitter data would lead to Nazification of the ro robot army. I don't quite think so, but I think training bot on Twitter, using AI training on the Twitter algorithm could, you know, I don't know whether they're using AI already, but th they may be able to do better at it. The business plan, no doubt, will leverage SpaceX for independence at some point. You know, there's another thing. What if Twitter went to some kind of Starlink as if they if started using Starlink as backbone for the platform? I don't know what Twitter uses for its internet backbone now. Maybe Starlink on space. And maybe this isn't about test. Forget about Tesla for a second. Maybe this is about Starlink becoming internet backbone provider for different uh, tech companies. What's your take on how Twitter might take advantage of a declining Facebook and scooping up other, other users? I think it's, you know, the free speech nature of the platform, if it becomes a free speech platform, will draw some Facebook users. I think they may add features. If they add TikTok-like features, it, it's not necessarily taking users from Facebook because I think the Facebook users may be bleeding to TikTok. Uh, it may be bringing those users over to from, from TikTok. What's your take? Let's see. Perma echo chamber. I don't think it has to be a permanent echo chamber. Let's just start using, oh yeah, what about when you incorporate Twitter and Neuralink? Comment on SpaceX Tesla boring conglomeration. I don't think, people think that there's going to be this X.com that's going to become a, become a holding company for all of Elon's companies. I don't think so. I, I think Elon regrets Tesla being publicly traded. Um, it's a lot easier to run companies that aren't publicly traded. But, and this is going to be Huge news today. That this there's going to be a, a, a shitstorm of news from mainstream media attacking Elon over this. You know the mainstream media is going to attack Elon over this. Are we going to see some banned user accounts reinstated? I definitely think that some user accounts will be, you know, very likely that Trump's account will be reinstated. Alex Berenson for sure will be reinstated. Elon helped Alex Berenson get his get, uh, you know, and it, 
could this compete with Amazon somehow? Is there something that Amazon's doing that Twitter could start doing instead? You know, could could they institute some kind of shopping feature on tw- oh, this? Oh my God. What if they implemented a shopping platform on Twitter? What if they, you know, they, they created their own um, e-commerce platform on Twitter and, you know, it was, you could, you could, you know, like the Amazon associates where you get a referral benefit when you refer somebody to buy something. If when you tweet something about a product, you get a referral if they buy, if people buy it. Holy cow. Holy cow. That could be, and maybe, you know, this whole monetizing your influencer status. If Twitter brought that in house, instead of having all these outsiders managing influencers, I think there's a lot of ways that you could, you could maximize value out of Twitter. Maybe Elon will dish out blue ticks. You get a blue check mark. You get a blue check mark. Oprah style. Thank you, Beck99. Um, what we got here? Sorry. How many people are watching? I'm sorry, I can't see. Okay, 625 people watching. This is pretty good for before 8 a.m. East Coast time. We got a good following here. Dogecoin tip chart and every tweet. I actually, I definitely think we're going to see something like that. That would totally make sense if there was, because there's some sort of super follower thing they adopted that, I don't know, Earl keeps tweeting about. Buy Model Y on Twitter. I, I think that's it. I, I think that if you incorporated um, an e-commerce platform on Twitter and you could, you got referral benefits if people bought something on Twitter, bought something through your Twitter, your tweet, that would be insane. That would be insane. So th- this is the thing. The, me- the mainstream media is going to be talking about, about, oh, this is Elon's going to promote hate speech. Elon's going to let Trump back on Twitter. That's all they're going to talk about on the mainstream media. And the real story is going to be they're going to make money. They're going to make Twitter a bigger, better platform. Direct payments via Twitter tweets. Oh, direct payments via Twitter tweets. Oh, that's interesting. By DM. Probably by DM rather than tweet. But if, if you could DM money to people. If you could DM uh, crypto to people, I think you can already DM money, but you know you would lower the transactions costs. Um, I don't think it's going to only be Doge, Carl, because Jack Dorsey is a big Bitcoin fan. Uh, maybe they have a plan to lower Bitcoin transaction costs as well. What if Bitcoin became? What if Twitter became a platform for Bitcoin transactions that lowered transactions costs for Bitcoin? If Bitcoin became sort of a market maker for Bitcoin. If, if Twitter became a market maker for Bitcoin so that you could do Bitcoin transactions through Twitter and instead of those going directly to the blockchain, which is very, very high cost, if Twitter processed a lot of the, the transactions internally and then updated the, the blockchain in one fell swoop, um, that, that's huge. Just check. So it may have already passed. As Bezos owns the Washington... Yeah, Bezos owns the Washington Post and bought that to become, to maybe to get some influence in Washington, D.C. Does Elon end up getting more influence over Washington, D.C. through this? Will Elon finally run for POTUS in 2028 when Trump is ready to retire? <laughs> Elon is not running for president of the United States. Elon does not want to be president. Uh, it would be a massive waste of Elon's time to be president of the United States. He, gets, he has a lot more impact on the world and humanity and everything by doing what he's doing now. Excuse the ignorance from the U.K., from Great Britain. I know Elon likes Trump advice, but why would Elon want Trump back when Trump pulled out of the Paris Agreement? Elon wants free speech. This isn't that he likes Trump or dislikes Trump. It's that he likes free speech. He wants people to be free to speak and he wants people to be free to choose who they want to listen to. And he doesn't want big tech controlling what people say and what people hear. GM and Ford. Oh, oh, GM and Ford and Kia Hyundai spend billions annually on advertising, get almost nothing for it. Elon has repeatedly complained. This is great from Fred. Fred is a, I, I see Fred's name all the time. Fred blogs. Elon has repeatedly complained that PayPal could massively extend. Maybe this is his route to doing it. Yeah, that's a really good point. Elon had plans at, at PayPal to expand into things like investing. You know, what if Twitter adopted a, a, a platform for buying stock? What if it became, what if it ad- adopted a brokerage feature? Because there's already people tweeting a lot about, about, Stock purchases. What if they adopted? Oh my God, this is the. I'm not saying this is the plan. I'm just saying they have to have a plan so that they can sway the other investors in the other shareholders, the major shareholders in Twitter, so that they can pursue a different plan. Um, Elon needs to take a stake in live streaming platform Twitch. Unfortunately, Twitch got acquired by. If, if Twitch, if Twitch got acquired by Amazon, then Elon's not going to take control of it. But you know, you could adopt a live streaming platform through Twitter. 
There's so many different potential ways that you could take Twitter's audience and expand the feature set of Twitter to get more people on Twitter for more time. And then number one, you expand Twitter's value by that, you know, but like if you did like a, an e-commerce platform with direct transactions from Twitter, you would steal a ton of business from Amazon. You realize how much this will pump the stock if Elon is able to unban Trump and all the support you get from the Republicans? Yes. Uh, and yes, I know Elon can't run for president. He wasn't born in the United States. Yeah, I, we all know that. Um, I'm not sure it'll expand much more than what it is. Just, it's just so Elon doesn't want to be president. He wants to run. Twi he wants to go to. He wants to get to run. Elon wants to run SpaceX. He doesn't even really want to run Tesla anymore. Right. I mean, he's excited about bot maybe, but you know, Elon's passion is running SpaceX and, you know, Tesla's more than a hobby, but everything else is a hobby for him. Uh, so what happens to Facebook? Uh, this, I don't know if this is so much about taking share from Facebook as it is from taking share, maybe from TikTok. And like, if they did an online shopping thing, maybe it's take share from Amazon. He has to remove the spam scam bots. I, I definitely think they will they will apply AI machine learning to figure out the scam bots and spam bots. Get rid of that. I, I definitely think that's going to be part of it. Um, you know, Elon gets gets dop I would call them doppelgangers. You see a lot of doppelganger accounts on Twitter. They could steal YouTube. They could steal business from YouTube. They could steal business from Facebook. They could not steal. They could take. User, users are spending time on the Amazon platform, on the Facebook platform, on the TikTok platform. And if they can make Twitter more attractive than those of us who go over to Instagram to do certain things and those of us who spend time on, what about a Twitter dating app? I mean, who knows? I'm, I, dating apps are hell. Elon has trouble finding a woman. Maybe they're... <laughs> All right, that's me. The King of Mars scoffs at your presidents. Exactly. The Elon of Mars. Elon of Mars. That's a, there's some book where the, the leader of Mars was, in, was, was an Elon. I bet the first thing Elon do was change Twitter tweet character limit from 280 to 420. That would be funny. Uh, oh, Robert Broadbent says, ARC still owns Twitter just to rebalance or cut share size down last week. I don't know. I, Alexandra follows ARC Invest really close. Elizabeth Warren. No, wa watch the Twitter accounts of Elizabeth Warren and Robert Reich and Bernie Sanders that the woke left is going to be tweeting about this like mad today. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Maybe the woke left will like boycott Twitter. They'll ban. They'll they'll leave Twitter and go somewhere else. Who knows? There's, 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 how will the woke left respond to this? You know, this is going to be crazy. Elon has plenty of kids. No trouble finding women. Finding the right woman is the challenge. Taking share from Google would definitely be or taking share from Google. Could they adopt a search engine on on Twitter as well? Could they adopt an internet search engine so that people go to Google less to search for things? That'd, that'd be an interesting feature on Twitter. When you do a search, it also shows you web results. Eat all posts through Dojo. No, that's not, do, that's not how Dojo works. They could use Dojo to train the AI on Twitter to catch the bots better. Elongated muskrat, cute. Opportunity to decentralize user accounts from Twitter and make it possible to transport your followers over to any other Web2, Web3 app. Let's hope the woke left leaves Twitter. They can't leave Twitter because the, the engagement comes from the conflict. If they leave Twitter, where are they going to go? We've seen this, that, that the, the right tries to create a platform and then the platform's boring because there's nobody to argue with. One of the engaging things about these conversations is that you have arguments with others. Victor Block, I'm, I'm going to, just to, uh, Victor Block anticipated, my, oh, no. Victor Block anticipated what, <laughs> My next video, Robert Reich is a little turd. Turd Reich. I'm going to give it away now. My, my, the video that I'm publishing later today or tomorrow is Turd Reich. It's, a, it's an attack on Robert Reich's attack on Elon. This is, they're they're going to go ballistic. They're gonna, they're, their minds are going to go boom. And they're going to try to create their own platforms to be free, to be away from the free speech platform. And no one's going to be there. It's going to be boring and they'll come back. Hilarious. Like, you know, 1% of Twitter will leave to form the woke left platform and it's going to die on a vine. It's hilarious that all of Tesla Q are funding Elon now by tweeting. Yes, Tesla Q is on Twitter. That's he's, he's monetizing Tesla Q. I love it. Starlink needs a search engine to cache uses. I just think the the potential for, you know, what if Starlink becomes internet back an internet backbone provider? Because you know, the, uh, Starlink is becoming an uh, internet service provider. What if they build uh, backbone uh, internet backbone features and then 
a company like Twitter says we're going to be running our our operations on Starlink, our internet operations on Starlink now, which insulates it from outages too, like earthly you know power outages and things. How much of a stake does he need to start affecting change to Twitter? I think to have really strong influence, you need twenty percent. Obviously, you want fifty one percent to control things, but I think at twenty percent, you start to get likely to get board seats. Um. I don't, I don't, I mean, fundamentally you need 51% to control a company, but I don't think it's just about control. It's about going to the major investors and say, we have a plan. Evan Glansman says, Elon turned a car company into what will potentially be the largest AI and energy company ever. I don't think anyone can even project what is possible for Twitter with him involved. Yes. Yes. Very true. Mainly interested in Twitter to work on hard AI problems. Um, and, and a great point. Um, you will need it for AI to understand language, a reswizzle of open AI to a Tesla bot. Interesting. I mean, Harpathy tweets a lot about GPT-3, which deals with, with, with language. So there's definitely potential for that as well. There's a lot of uh, AI already working on understanding language. Twitter needs to optimize for video, got high, high quality using Starlink potentially. I, 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 you know, there's so much potential here. There's in, we're incorporating crypto. There's incorporating online, you know, um, online shopping, uh, e-commerce, there's um, drawing users from TikTok and YouTube and others by like uh, expanding video, there's internet backbone with Starlink, there's a lot of ways that this could be like amazing. Now, here's the question, how does Twitter help Mars? There we go, how does it help the Mars mission? I think there will be a new social media platform called Woker, yeah. Oh, he made $500 million on Twitter and like two He bought so much stock and the stock went up because he bought it that he made money on it. But he didn't make money on it because he's not selling. Twitter data analytics is probably very valuable for Elon. The, the, there's so much potential here. Tom Nash thinks Elon will eventually make a full purchase of Twitter. I don't think so. I don't think he needs to make a full purchase of Twitter. I think if Elon gets... like, I would say it's likely that Elon is buying more than the 9.2% we know about. And if he gets to 20%, that would probably get to the point where he would have significant control over the company. And I don't think Elon's going to spend his time running Twitter. I think he and Jack have a plan. Do people not realize you need 51% of it? You, you need 51% to control it, but you if, you if you get 20% and then you can sway another 30%, 30.1%, you've got control. You can communicate with your Tesla via Twitter, maybe. I'm sorry, Alexander, what did you say? Let me look for Alexander. What, what's your... Alexander is my source for everything ARK Invest and everything uh, Gary Black as well. So for some reason, I don't see Gary's tweets as much, but I see Alexander's tweets. Alexander, you said something about, to be precise, ARK MST. If, Alexander, if you could write a longer comment on the, in the chat explaining what you mean by that, I'm really curious to see what you think about ARK Invest. If AI works, then peeps could purchase it and enable one-on-one -on -one experiences via YouTube, Twitter, etc. Interesting. Um, Peter says, so Elon could actually own 20% already, but it's just not public. Absolutely. I mean, that's what happened when he was selling stock as the filing, the SEC filings happened later. He could own 50% already and it's not public yet. Uh, you know, it, it could be that he's bought, I don't, I don't know how the SEC filings work. Twitter is a thousand times better than a PR department. Tesla team can field questions from... Resp oh, oh, tw could they use Tesla Twitter for customer service? I don't think they're going to use Tesla Twitter for Tesla customer service, but that's interesting. Will Jack be involved again? I think Jack is very clearly involved. There's no question Jack is involved. Um, and also, yeah, probably protects Elon from being deplatformed. That's a good point. AI could it be calibrated to sound like Warren Redlick or anyone else's voice person? I don't think AI is necessary for that, but yes. I don't think they would do that, though. Whoever holds the highest percentage stake controls the company at even 15%. Not true. Not true. If 50% if of the investors disagree with the person who holds 15%, then you don't control it. And institutional investors already hold at least 30% of Twitter stock. Probably more like 40%. But, you know, it may be that in buying... You know, that, that number that we showed here, this is the, the largest invest, the largest shareholders of Twitter. It may be that Elon bought stock effectively from Vanguard, Morgan Stanley, BlackRock, and State Street. He may have lowered, a lot of the stock he bought may have come from institutional investors and lowered their holding. The problem with America is the right want to have a conversation, but the left wants to ban, censor, or leave. I don't know that the right really wants to have a conversation. I'm not sure I agree that the right is so noble and, and wonderful, but... Um, 
Decibel says, oh no, did Elon seriously buy Twitter? Man, sometimes Elon is an idiot. It, well, there's a saying we have, never bet against Elon. If Elon did this, Elon has a plan. Elon didn't just do this on a whim. There's a plan. There is a plan. Elon's been talking to Jack. Elon's been talking to maybe ARK Invest, whoever. There is a plan, and the plan isn't just to make it a free speech platform. The plan is to make money. The plan is to grow Twitter. The plan... Guy, the guy makes businesses grow. He, he makes businesses grow. When Elon touches something, it grows. Not to say that it's always true, but you know he sat down with Jack Dorsey, uh, Chamath, the all in the guys at the All In Pod, Calicanus. There's something going on here. Is Babylon B getting? I don't think Babylon B was banned. I think they were suspended. That's another one. I think when Babylon B got suspended, that probably tri- that might have tripped his wire a little bit too. Leftist Reddit is having a meltdown. I'm sure the the woke left is. I, I, we got to. I got to check some headlines here. I got to check some headlines here. I just got to see what's what's in. Um, that's not it. Let's see what's in the news today. The news must be freaking out. The news must be freaking out. Maybe they haven't caught up yet. I don't see anything in the news yet. It's coming. There's a wave coming. Get ready for the news. Get ready for the opinion pieces, which, you know, they're burning. The, the, the smoke is coming out of the smokestacks at all the newspapers, which all, of course, run on fossil fuels because they're bad for the environment. Um, the, the smoke is right there. They're, bur- they're burning the midnight oil. With, well, they're, they, they're, of course, the woke left sleeps late, so it'll take them a while to catch up. But the woke left sleeps till noon, so it's going to be rough for them. Do you think Twitter is worth considering adding positions from investment perspective after Elon taking the stake? Um, I don't have free cash, and I still think Tesla is a better investment than Twitter. But if Elon touches me, I grow too. I like personally, I'm not. I don't plan to buy stock in Twitter. I, I that's I haven't bought. Do- I you know Elon talks up Dogecoin. I haven't bought Dogecoin. I am just like I'm all in on Tesla. I think Tesla is the best investment. But I think, I think Twitter's not a bad investment at this moment. The problem is that it's up 26% in pre-market trading and probably when a when market opens, when people start... Here's the thing. If you think this is just about free speech, then you don't get it. If you recognize that Elon and Jack and Calicanus and, and Chamath have a plan to make Twitter bigger and more profitable, if you recognize there has to be a plan here, there has to be a business plan here, there's no way they would just do this for speech. They're doing this to grow the company. Wall Street's going to figure that out. Investors, retail investors, you're going to see this. I think Twitter's going to double today. 26% is nothing. Tim, thank you for, uh, yeah, I was just, I was, I want, I was thinking about making a video. I was like, why don't I just go live? What's the point of making a video? Let me just go live. Let's see what happens if we go live. 740 of you. It's not even, it's, it's barely 8 a.m. in the East Coast and we got, we got 750 users, 750 viewers. This is great. So Tesla will 10x sooner than Twitter. I don't know. I mean, I think Tesla, I think Twitter might 2x today. And I, I'm, like I said, I, my cash, my, my investments, I'm locked in on Tesla. I'm not buying Twitter stock. I, you know, I can't rule it out, but right now I have no plans to buy Twitter stock. I don't own Twitter stock. I don't think I own any social media stocks at all. I don't I, I sold my Facebook a while ago. I think I sold all the Facebook I had a while ago. I own some Google stock, which is arguably social media. Uh, not a lot. And that's, that, that's in a, that's in a family account. That's not my accounts are like 99% Twitter, uh, 99% Tesla. I own some gold and I own some ARK Invest and I own some uh, Arkimoto. A very small share of Arkimoto. If Elon owned 10%, he would be regulated by SEC related to Twitter activity. He probably wants to stay below that. I don't think so. Another billion buys another media outlet. Yeah, there's going to be headlines like this. Twitter will go, t- everything's going to go crazy. Twitter, I, I, they're going to crash the servers today. If Twitter shares are pretty well distributed, then you will never, ever need to even close to 50% to have full control. Only a small fraction of individual shareholders vote. No, I think if the, if the, if the institutional investors own a large share, if they own 50% of Twitter, you have to persuade the institutional investors. So the question is, are they buying enough? Are they either, do they have a business plan that they think they can persuade the institutional investors or are Elon and others buying enough that they effectively get control? I, I would bet you Elon's not doing this alone. I would bet you that Chamath and Calicanus and a few others are buying as well. Um, it would probably be, if they coordinated the purchases, it would probably be bad. You know, it'd be interesting from an SEC perspective that they coordinated buys 
Would that be an SEC problem? I don't know. If it's possible to calibrate AI to sound like a person combined with this holographic tech, I could subscribe to having celebrity house guests. I don't think that relates to Twitter, though. Uh, yeah, I. If I wasn't all in on Tesla, would I be buying Twitter today? Probably. Um, I, I, I definitely, I really see like, if you, you know, what's this is the question. What is the business potential? This has no impact on Tesla stock price. This has nothing to do with Tesla. It has nothing to do with SpaceX. I mean, there may be connections to Tesla and SpaceX later, but I don't, I don't think that's a particularly big deal. <laughs> Um, it, it probably will boost Tesla stock price just because people are talking about Elon. Tesla, Ener Tesla Energy, you know, social media use these, these large big tech companies use a lot of electricity. Are they going to find a way to incorporate Tesla solar, Tesla mega packs or whatever to power Twitter servers? Is Twitter going to start using Starlink for internet backbone? I don't, I don't think it makes sense to, for Twitter to use Starlink for internet backbone, but it doesn't hurt. Will the Hertz Polestar deal hurt Tesla stock? No. No, that doesn't affect Tesla at all. The Hertz deal didn't affect Tesla. It shouldn't really affect Tesla stock. Tesla doesn't have a demand problem. It has a supply problem. Tesla energy is so potentially huge. Superchargers are 32 cents per kilowatt hour in Florida and 11 cents per kilowatt hour in Texas. Um, the superchargers I go to mostly are 19 cents per kilowatt hour in the off peak hours and 38 cents in on peak hours. And there's places in the country where where it's more, but I think we're going to see a lot of things that will do that that will lower prices. Maybe Elon will do funny awesome car ads. I don't think so. Seems like Twitter would sell holographic media. I don't I don't see that one. Yesterday Orban was I don't know who Orban is. Starlink isn't anywhere near backbone capable yet. Right, no, no, Tesla, I'm not saying Starlink is backbone capable yet. I'm saying Starlink becomes backbone capable. And that, you know, how, how does that play out? I don't know. How can we make money off this run up? Will the stock run well past 50? I don't even know what the share price is. That's comical. I don't even know what Tesla, what Twitter, I'm not a Twitter investor. So, Orban is Hungary's president. I, yeah, I don't, I don't, that doesn't make the radar for most of us. That's a Hungary story, not a global story for most of us. Twitter seems to have lots of active users, but can't convert it. Right. So, so let's go over this again. Um, number one, you, you add features like TikTok like features to draw people who are drawn to TikTok, Snapchat. Um, maybe you're drawing people from Instagram. You're drawing people from YouTube. You, you create a better video platform and that brings people in. And then you, you, can they monetize it? I think it, like, I think the big idea would be an e-commerce platform. If they created an e-commerce commerce platform and you could say, Hey, buy this and you get a referral fee when somebody buys something you recommended and you just incorporate that directly into Twitter, that would be insane. That would 10 X Twitter. That would be, that would think about that for a second. What if Twitter is going to compete with Amazon? Okay. Wrap your head around that. What if Twitter, what if they decided to compete with Amazon? It, that's, it's mind boggling to me. What do we think about Tesla this week? Shanghai is delayed. The numbers were good, but barely over. Um, I think that Tesla, like everybody else in, in industry right now, is they're experiencing struggles with supply chain. They're experiencing struggles with other things in China, um, public health issues in China. There's a lot of things going on. Um, but I think Tesla's, it's, it, it's short term, there's a little bumps in the road. Long term, everything looks great. Bigger story than people realize. Does this have anything to do with Facebook's large investment to the metaverse? And, oh, this is competing with Facebook and the metaverse. I think Facebook's meta thing is dead on the water. I think it's a dumb idea. It's not going anywhere. I don't know. Do people think the metaverse thing is going anywhere? Um, could they be going into the metaverse? I don't know. I don't think so. Kartik says Elon bought Twitter stock only to ensure free speech is maintained. No, there has to be a business plan. There's a plan. There's a plan to make money. Think about the 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 middle finger extended to Jeff Bezos if Twitter started becoming an e-commerce -plat e platform. Think about the insane volume of business that they could take from Amazon. Raymond says, when is Elon going to take on Amazon? This is it. If you built an e-commerce platform on twi into Twitter, and when you, when you tweet about something and you include a link to the purchase, and instead of getting an Amazon Associates referral, you get a Twitter referral and it's in Dogecoin, you incorporate crypto in it. There's so, it's so crazy what, what could happen here. There is a big plan here to make this amazing.
It's not just a do it's a Dogecoin Bitcoin marketplace. I think you know. Don't forget that Jack is big on Bitcoin and Elon is actually big on Bitcoin. Um, you could create sort of like a Bitcoin backbone on Twitter, where Bitcoin becomes where Twitter becomes a it handles the transactions internally without putting them on the blockchain directly. It would be some sort of open source thing where there's like a secondary blockchain that Twitter would manage and they do the transactions on their own blockchain that at low transaction cost. And then they update to the main blockchain, which is a high transaction cost, but with a large volume of transactions all at once. And that might be a very efficient way to, to, take Bitcoin and make Bitcoin more efficient. And then maybe you do Dogecoin for smaller transactions. There's a lot of potential here. Oh, they're not going to ban Elizabeth Warren from Twitter. Elizabeth Warren's going to leave Twitter and they're going to go to woke left, some woke left social media platform they're going to create that's going to die immediately. This is crazy. This is, this is really big stuff. I'm really excited about this. Not something I usually care about, but this is big. I care about free speech. Is Twitter, it, this, I'm saying Twitter could become an e-commerce site. I, I think they could incorporate crypto, whether it's Bitcoin or, or, or Dogecoin, whatever. How about buying shop combined with Twitter that kills Amazon? Shopify is cheap these days. That's, that's potential. That's potential. Hi, Larry. I just watched a YouTube of something similar. They call it layer two lightning. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that they, it's like the lightning network. They, maybe it is the lightning network. Well, it doesn't have to be lightning network. It could be Twitter's own version of lightning network. Um, Twitter's already done a lot to integrate Ethereum and NFTs. I, I don't get the, I, by the way, this is old man Warren here. I still don't get NFTs, Could they incorporate NFTs in this. Like I, I totally do not get the NFT thing. I think the NFT thing is a fad. It's going to go away, but other people are smarter than me think it's something. So we'll see. Maybe the bots will include hologram capacities like R2-D2 did in Star Wars. The bot could beam hologram of AI voice of any historic person calibrate with like Okay, so I'm just, I'm following the chat because I, I want to focus on this. I want to focus on this one point. Is there a business story here? Forget about the free speech story for a second because we all think the free, a lot of us think the free speech story is important. There's the celebrity story of Elon buying Twitter and people freaking out because Elon's a celebrity and he's, he is like one of the largest, if not the largest users of Twitter in terms of following. But, and you know, there's, it's going to bring Trump back on the platform. It's going to bring Alex, you know, some banned people back on the platform. There's a lot of that. Anthony Dex says, yes, I can't stand that people talk about Warren and they're talking about Elizabeth Warren. And I think they're talking about me in car shop, but what's the business story? This is the big question that, that the media, the media is going to focus on the free speech, the wokeism, everything else. The big story here is what's the business plan? There's a business plan. There absolutely is a business plan. There's no way that Elon would do this if there wasn't a plan to make Twitter better, to make Twitter grow, to make Twitter more successful. And there's, it has to be that Jack is in on it. It has to be that Jack, Jack is in on this. Jack, nobody knows Twitter better than Jack. This is going to be absolutely insane. Starlink plus Twitter reached the whole world. Elon had a tweet a while back. What if some country doesn't like people using Starlink? And Elon says they can shake their fist at the sky. This could be free speech throughout the world. The left extremists are going to lose their minds on this. Yes, they are. The left is going to lose their minds. They're going to go crazy. Twitter, are they going to complain about it on Twitter? Twitter's value comes from its simplicity, accessibility, and focus on frictionless communication. Adding e-commerce or anything else that complicates it will compromise that. I don't know. I don't think so. I think you could incorporate e-commerce very simply into Twitter, and I don't think, you know, it would just be click here to buy something. And you go to shop.twitter.com. Elon is buying into a large user-based database. He has a plan. He has a plan. There's a plan here. The business plan is to make it less woke. That's not the business plan. No, no, that's not the, there's something else. There's something much more than this. Oh, Elon is the number eight most followed on Twitter. Thank you, Nikolai. There's something more. Alex Jones will be back for sure. Yeah, th there's something more here. There, the, the wokeism, the combating wokeism, the free speech aspect is what gets the news story, but the real story, this is going to, I, I, I'm thinking about buying Twitter stock. I'm not saying I'm going to do it. I'm not selling any Tesla stock to do it, but can I use, uh, I might have to buy Twitter stock. Market opens in an hour and 10 minutes. I don't usually buy pre-market. I'll think about it. 
CNN and, MSN, CNN and MSNBC will panic and woke narcissism. Could they, you know, you think about how Joe Rogan made this deal with Spotify. Could, could they identify big influencers like Joe Rogan and make deals, not with Joe Rogan specifically, but with other big influencers to create some kind of platform with Twitter that gives these voices more and takes away from the, the corporate media? Uh, and, he, and let's face it, Elon hates mainstream media. Mainstream media is constantly trashing him. So if this, if this expands people's access to other views and diminishes the impact of mainstream media that's been attacking him, it's huge. Elon will use his AI to on Twitter. Definitely, I think there's going to be an AI role. For, Twitter is probably already using AI, but if you get you know, one or two people from the Tesla team who, who's in the GPT-3 or OpenAI... There has to be something completely new that's going to revolutionize social media. I don't know if it has, I don't know if it has to be completely new. I, I think just incorporating features from TikTok and shopping, they're, this, they, they made 10x Twitter. I, I think if, if, they, if they announce shop.twitter.com and you, know, you get referral fees for refer, you know, if somebody clicks on your tweet and buys something, you get you know two percent of the transaction, that would be that would explode. That would explode. Um, HVAC says, is this just the beginning of buying more into Twitter and how much can he buy into Twitter? My guess would be that he's buying more than that, that this is just the first disclosure and that there'll be more. I don't know. Just my guess. Reaching the whole world being influenced that may bring more money. Wimping the Orban story as Hungary only is short sighted. Well, tell me why it matters to, to somebody in Kansas. Why, why does the Orban story in Hungary matter to someone in Kansas or California? Bezos will foul his trousers. <laughs> Bezos will foul his trousers and be forced to pull capital out of Blue Origin in order to save Amazon. Oh my God. Bezos has got to buy Facebook tomorrow. I don't think he can buy Facebook. What's the next social media platform that could be bought to, to save Amazon? Oh my God. As an Elon said in the past, he only does things he thinks can 10x. I think, I don't know if he said it. If you read the wait, but why, um, Articles about Elon, that is Elon's pattern as he looks for things that can 10 x I will buy into any company Elon is in, is in and owns. So I will be buying Twitter. I think we're going to see Twitter, st uh, Twitter stock like 50 ox, 50 percent or double today because people are going to see it. It's not just that Elon's buying stock. It's not just the free speech. It's there. There, there has to be a plan. There's a plan to make. I totally think the shopping is it. Is this a middle finger to the SEC? I don't think so. Um, I think this is to me the the, the some sort of TikTok like features, some sort of uh, adopting what some other uh, rising social media are doing is one thing. But if you added shopping to Twitter, the game's over. If you added an e-commerce platform, the game's over, and it would be the, the biggest middle finger to Jeff Bezos because Elon's pissed at Jeff Bezos because Jeff Bezos is a turd, um, and a huge middle finger to the to the woke left that keeps attacking him on Twitter. It's, this is going to be crazy. Well, it was up 26% in pre-market, so 20% up now isn't that much. But if it's only up 20% when the market opens, I'm going to find a way to buy some Twitter stock. This is crazy. This is going to, they, they have a plan to, to 5X or 10X Twitter in terms of its, its share price. Aren't you a Bezos? I am a Bezos fan. Yes, I think Bezos, is, Bezos will revive MySpace. I, I do. Personally, I think Jeff Bezos has done a lot of good for the world. I don't like everything he does. I think he's done some things I don't like, but overall, I think Bezos is. I think Bezos made the world. I, I self-published a book through Amazon, and I, I I appreciate that Amazon made that easier. What about news publication with crowdsourced user base and AI dojo reliability ratings? Um, I could see like a, making the Twitter news feature better. Um, you know, having the trending thing back and doing it right. Uh, I think there's a lot of potential here. What are you talking about e-commerce? People don't even provide real information on Twitter. How can they target advertising when they don't know anything about you? No, I'm just saying if Twitter adopts its own e-commerce platform, in other words, if they create a mini Amazon built into Twitter, shop.twitter.com, um, if they create a shop.twitter.com, and then when you tweet about something and you include a link to the merchandise you can buy on Twitter, and somebody buys that based on your, the click on your link, you know, you have to register to, to, to be a, a, an influencer, let's say on Twitter, then, and you get 2% of whatever the transaction cost is, then you're going to tweet about products you like, <clears throat> people are going to buy them. I mean, I guess I would be worried that that would, 
mess up that, that there would be too much tweeting about about e-commerce and it would sort of ruin Twitter. So they would, might want to limit it in some way. <clears throat> hmm. Um, Bezos has done a lot of annoying things lately. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Some of the things he's done with Blue Origin, trying to interfere with SpaceX's growth. <clears throat> instead of instead of growing Blue Origin, he's been attacking SpaceX. So, <clears throat> well, his company's been attacking SpaceX. I think that's wrong. <clears throat> hmm. I, I somehow I think shop.twitter.com. I think that there's there's real potential. They would have to limit the number. They wouldn't want it to to destroy the the lively communication that's not shopping oriented. So if they limited you, you know, like one or two tweets a day on your account, you know, 1% of your tweets can be, you know, a certain percentage of your tweets can be shopping oriented. Elon doesn't believe in web three metaverse NFTs, et cetera. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't, I don't think this is metaverse. I don't think this is about NFTs. They're going to open source the algorithm for sure. I think, you know, your choice of algorithm, letting people choose their algorithm here, we've got 10 different algorithms. Which one do you want us to use on your account? Um, what if all he cares about is free speech and getting rid of bots? He might be dumping money and not expecting anything. That doesn't fit with the way Elon operates. Orban is a dictator, therefore a massive geopolitical with Putin-like ambitions. Don't you think the Ukrainian-Russian war doesn't influence you? I think it's all a distraction. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't think John Energy 2012, I know you care a lot about what's going on in Hungary, but I think you'll find that no one else is engaging with you in the chat. I'm going to stop bothering. Don't, don't bother putting Hungary in the chat again, because no one else cares. I mean, just look, no one else in the, in the chat is responding to you. No one cares about that. I, it's a very, it's just not, that's not what the story's about. Maybe Elon will do his interpretation of Web3 through Twitter. I see Jeff Bezos and I think Lex Luthor. Yeah, he does seem to have a Lex Luthor look, although I guess, I think I'm heading there. Maybe I should shave it off. Tweet via Neuralink. That's a little later. Uh, waste of capital, plain and simple. I don't think this is a waste of capital. Never bet against Elon. How much infrastructure would Twitter have to install to make shopping happen? I don't think much. I don't think that's a hard thing. I don't think setting up a shopping platform is that hard. I definitely think there would be a, you don't want the, it, too much tweeting about shopping to take away from the regular discourse on Twitter. So you'd probably have to some kind of limit, have some kind of limits on how much people could tweet about that. So much dumb, so little time after AGM. Forget what AGM stands for. Maybe Elon, will, no, he's not going to do Web3. Web3's bad. I just sold three, te somebody says, I just sold three Tesla and bought 67 Twitter in the last minute. Okay. All right. So I don't think I've, I think I've kind of run out of steam. I think I've been doing this for over an hour. Um, if you have ideas for this, please comment in the, in the, in the, Please comment on the video after the, the chat's going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to shut down the stream. Uh, but you know, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for joining me this morning. This is going to be a lot of fun. I've got another video that I'll probably make live this afternoon, uh, make public this afternoon. So thanks everyone. Have a great day. Enjoy, enjoy your fun. We'll, we'll see you. We'll see you on the Twitter. We'll